people to fight it off, usually within 24 to 48 hours. Um, and that I notice people who are on LLV compared to people who aren't definitely can recover a lot quicker from the ailment than if you weren't on them. So cannot stress and emphasize the doTERRA LLV enough. Another great thing is to take a probiotic. So doTERRA do a really good probiotic and prebiotic in one called the PB Assist. So this is actually done in a little capsule that it can disperse through your, through your system and your body how it needs to, to get the full benefit from them. So that's a really, really great product as well. If you want to do some research on that, that's called PB Assist. And probiotic defense is really important, particularly if you are taking antibiotics or you've done a course of antibiotics. Antibiotics will unfortunately sort of kill everything, good and bad, to try and give you that reboot. Whereas taking a probiotic um, should be really, really highly recommended when you are taking antibiotics. Even if you don't take antibiotics, it's really, really beneficial to take probiotics. Drinking kombucha is another way of getting a lot of probiotics. Kombucha is great to sort of help boost the immunity as well and give you all that probiotic support. So going into the oils, I will start with frankincense just because frankincense is the king of oils. This is has the most research done on it. There's a lot of PubMed studies out there that you can research yourself. Frankincense is the king of oils. So frankincense and the immunity is a fantastic immune boosting oil with its antiviral and antibacterial um, properties in there. It is really, really beneficial to have this applied daily. You can also take it internally if you wish. You can diffuse it in the diffuser and it's a really great one to help keep your immune system boosted. Uh, really great for any cognitive issues. So if you suffer a bit of stress or anxiety or you struggle getting to sleep at night, having the right amount of sleep is really important for our health. So by using frankincense on the back of your neck, dropping a drop onto your scalp before you go to bed or putting it in a diffuser. There's lots of different ways you can use it. Um, it's a really great one to help you get that peaceful night's sleep and just help keep your immune system boosted and just help with those cognitive um, thoughts and feelings and emotions as well. On Guard, um, otherwise known as the Protective Blend. This is a fantastic blend that has really powerful um, oils in there. It consists of wild orange, clove bud oil, cinnamon leaf oil, cinnamon bark oil, eucalyptus, and rosemary. So that's the protective blend on guard that is antibact antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, antimicrobial, antiparasitic, and anti-mold. So for it to be um, used, again, you can use it in the diffuser. Great to put a drop of this in your diffuser every time you turn the diffuser on. It'll help kill any airborne pathogens that are in the air. So if children or someone comes in and they've got a little bit of a sniffle or something that they're carrying, um, this is great to have it diffusing all winter long to help kill any airborne pathogens that are in the air and it also helps at boosting your immune system. Reason being the clove bud oil and the cinnamon oils in there are really, really high antioxidant. Clove bud oil is the highest form of antioxidant you can have. So by having a drop of that in some warm tea in the morning or in some water or in a veggie capsule and doing that daily, if you don't wish to take it internally, you can make up a roller bottle and roll it with fractionated coconut oil, roll that onto the soles of your feet every night before going to bed. I do this, I put it in the diffuser every day, I roll it on the soles of my feet and roll it on the soles of my son's feet. And I find it just really helps because it is such an immune boosting oil. It really helps ward off things a lot quicker if you do happen to catch them because it just keeps that immune system um, at a really good level. Sore throats, you can make a hand sanitizer with this that can act as a hand sanitizer. 
um, that will be a three-in-one. You can use it as an antibacterial spray, a hand sanitizer, or if you're getting a sore, scratchy throat, you can spray that into the back of your throat and the clove in there will help um, alleviate the symptoms of a dry, scratchy, raspy throat um, and really fantastic for sore throats. Lemon is a great antioxidant support again. So lemon essential oil, drinking a drop of that in water, warm water in the morning just helps that slow, gentle detox um, for your system. So you think about over the years how much we are packing our bodies full of free radicals and full of different chemicals and foods that we probably shouldn't be eating and alcohol and all the different stresses and everything that we put in. You just imagine one joint sausage and it's all compressed in there. If you try to detox too fast, what's gonna happen? That sausage skin is just gonna burst everywhere and you're gonna have symptoms on your skin, you're gonna have outbreaks, you're gonna have all sorts of tummy issues, everything going on. Um, it's really, really beneficial just to do it that, that lemon in water to start that slow, gentle detox before taking any supplements or any antibiotics or anything that you may have to take. Really great to do that on a daily basis and full of antioxidants. So if you're drinking that in your water, you're getting all the antioxidant support as well as the detox effect. Wild orange is another fantastic one for antioxidants. So this is delicious in some sparkling water. Again, you can do it in warm water with your lemon or your wild orange to keep your veggies and fruits nice and clean and get rid of any parasites that may have been sprayed on them from wherever you purchase them from is to fill a sink full of cold water put in a cup of apple cider vinegar and a couple of drops of lemon or wild orange leave your fruit and veggies soak in there for about 10 minutes um, strawberries probably only and berries only leave for about five minutes and then rinse them lay them all out on a, um, a kitchen towel and let them dry and that helps you um, eliminate any of the parasites and things that may have been sprayed on your fruit and veggies and just gives you nice fresh um, fruit and veggies. So wild orange again is another good sleep one. So you can try that in the diffuser. Really great to take with frankincense for any cognitive support. Um, I came off antidepressants and anti-anxiety medication by using frankincense and wild orange internally and topically and aromatically and just really helped supported me through that process. Tea tree is um, Melaleuca, otherwise known as, sourced here in Australia. It's antibacterial, antiviral, really, really great strong antiseptic. So you can think all of the things that you would use antiseptic around the home. Um, instead of having that bottle of Dettol, which has other some um, other ingredients in there that wouldn't be recommended, you can just have your bottle of tea tree and use it as antiseptic. Really great to have in the diffuser for antibacterial effects. Uh, you can use this for earaches, so it is absolutely fantastic for earaches. Um, again, you can just add a couple of drops of fractionated coconut oil, or you can put it in a roller bottle and you wouldn't put it inside the ear, you would just roll it all around the outside of the ear, and that is a really, really great aid for any earaches, whether it be for children or for yourself. Peppermint and lavender would be two really beneficial ones to have in your first aid kit at home should anyone start to run a temperature or fever. So peppermint can really help regulate your body's temperature. So I spoke about in my skin camp videos on how your body is constantly trying to maintain that internal temperature with exter external environments affecting it and it tries to keep your body running at that same thermal regulation. Um, peppermint can really help aid that. So it's smart enough that when you apply it topically, it knows whether your body, what temperature it needs to be, whether it needs to raise your temperature or whether it needs to lower your temperature. So anyone running a fever, it's a really nice thing to use the lavender and peppermint together um, with some coconut oil down the spine and on the soles of the feet. Now there is dilution guidelines that when you become a member, we give you all that education information on what dilution ratio to use, whether it be for a newborn compared to an older child and to an adult. 
Um, so you would just follow those guidelines because it can be quite powerful and can raise or drop the temperatures quite quickly. And sometimes that can put, if it was a young child, it could put their body into a bit too much shock. So it is something that you do need education on, but it is really, really effective method for regulating temperature instead of having to take any other um, medications and things that can then weaken your immune system further. So it's going to be harder them to fight whatever they have. Having that temperature is actually a good thing if you can control it and manage it. So peppermint is really fantastic at just keeping that body temperature and regulated. Um, really good for any upset stomachs, nausea, sickness. You can rub it on the roof of your mouth. Great as a stimulant. Pick you up if you're feeling a bit under the weather. It's just a really good um, natural stimulant. I'm going to pause there and just um, go through the next lot of oils just to make uploading a little bit easier.